welcome to the little blue vlog it's Jem here thank you for clicking on this video i hope it finds you well how's your week been guys what have you been going through have you been feeling depressed anxious angry sad jealous guilty hateful remorseful regretful how have you been getting on um i've had Probably one of the worst weeks I've had in a long time. Lots has happened. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff has happened, and I'm going to share it with you now. But um, I just want to say, trigger warning: if you don't want to hear anything about suicide, then I would click off now. Um, yeah. Someone very close to me this week attempted suicide. Took an overdose and it's been really emotional for them and for everyone in that knows that person um yeah they they wrote a pretty lengthy suicide note and took lots of tablets thankfully they didn't take enough to do any damage or cause any harm or anything like that but they still got to that place when they felt that was the only option and I know what that feels like when it feels like this is your only way to relieve the pain to to get away from it and I think also it was a cry for help because they're struggling and they need more support and thankfully they will be getting more support now um, so that's been really sad really really hard um, yeah I'm, I'm really sad about it and you feel so helpless like you want to kind of make sure they're okay but there's nothing you can say nothing you can do that will make them feel better I know that because I've been in that situation and you just feel kind of helpless and I feel helpless like I just want to kind of shake them and say what have you what are you doing you know you deserve to be on this planet you're an amazing human being yeah it's that was a really really bad start to the week um that's probably the worst thing that's happened to be honest but um i also had a major falling out with my mum like the worst it's ever been um we kind of we, you probably know if you watched my vlog last week or the week before that I'd had a falling out with her but this it hadn't been resolved and we kept kind of trying to kind of talk about things but every time we did both of us would get upset um, and then it kind of came to a head when I got really really upset because I'd messed up the food shopping bill and I lost it and started hitting myself in front of my mum and she didn't know what to do um, and then she kind of broke down and she said, I can't live like this anymore. Um, I'm walking on eggshells all the time. I can't help you. I'm doing my best to kind of help you manage your illness, but it's just something that I can't do anymore. Um, so she's gone away for a week to stay with her sister to get some space. Um, the whole family's been involved. And I was, we had to stay at my brother's for a few days because mum needed space from me and I'm so sad. Just kind of feel like I pushed her to her limit and now she's not here and I miss her. And I feel guilty for everything I said. I said some things to her that hurt her feelings and it's too late to take them back um i just feel like my illness has taken over and made me a different person this week self-harmed a lot <coughs> cried a lot um and then to top it off 
we got offered a house through social housing this week but I'm not ready to go we have no money saved we've got to pay deposits we've got to move we've got to have moving costs and all the while I just want to live here with my mum and be with my mum take care of her and I just feel like I, suddenly I'm everything's out of my control and everything's changing so quickly and all I want to do is just hide away I don't I don't want to move moving is really stressful and I just I just want to be here I just want to stay in my own room and the thing is I've been wanting to move out for so long and now it's actually happening it's kind of the reality has hit that it's going to be very different and and Andy's really excited, he's so excited, and I feel bad that I'm not excited, but I don't cope well with change. We've been with my mum for nearly four years now, and it's become a safety net and a prison at the same time. Safety net because we, we don't have to worry about bills or, or anything like that, we just pay one amount of money to mum. And yeah, and then it's just, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah. So, oh, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, my brain is all over the place. I hate it. I'm just so sad. I didn't do my counselling this week because it all happened on Wednesday. Um, so I'm missing my mum terribly, thinking of my family member that tried to take their own life. Sorry this video is probably really boring but I don't really know what else to say. I struggle to do this video as it is because I've just been so upset. But I wanted to I wanted to post a video this week. I wasn't going to. I was gonna leave it because everything's just been so awful. But I thought, no, I want to talk about what's happened this week because I think suicide needs to be talked about. I think we need to be thinking about people going through this and we need to be supporting people, we need to be raising awareness because suicide I know it's the leading cause of death for men aged 15 to 44 we need to be focusing on that and thinking about what's causing people to to get to get to this point I know what it's like to be at that point and hate your life so much that you don't want to be in it anymore Well, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, really. I feel this video is going to be really crap. It's like, oh, I'm moving. Oh, it's awful. No, I... First world problems. But when you have anxiety and depression, BPD, smallest changes can feel enormous. And you just don't feel like you're in control. And I like to feel like I'm in control. And there's so much to do, so much to think about. I just don't want to do it. I just want to stay in this bed. Watch YouTube videos on my phone and never talk to anyone ever again. <laughs> I've managed to do this video without crying, which is I'm really pleased about. Because I think sometimes seeing someone cry can be quite triggering. So I'm pleased I've held it together. Um, I'm going to go now. Sorry if this video has been triggering. Sorry if this video has been boring. Apologies for the state of me, but I just couldn't face washing my hair, putting makeup on, doing things to make me feel good. I hope your week has been better. Don't forget to tell me how it's been. If you've been affected by suicide, by either something that you've gone through or someone that you know. 
Have you had difficulty with family members? Um, have you been basically been affected by anything I've been talking about? Then please comment. Um, that's enough for me today. Thanks for watching. Please take care. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. And I'm going to go and get back on the sofa and try and get my head around moving and packing. <laughs> anyway, take care guys. Love you all to bits. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Love you. Bye bye.